Bandits are planning to attack Southwest region, Ghani Adams says, and condemns Sheikh Gumi's visit to Igbo farm. Uh, the Yoruba Nation Activity Sunday, a day more popularly known as Sunday Igbo Wo, is an indigenous of Igbo Wo town, the headquarters of the Orelukbe local government area of Oyo State, the area on Okankafo of Yoruba land, Ghani Adams and other members of the Southwest Security Stakeholders Group have berated Cardinal State-based Islamic scholar Ahmad Gumi uh, over his visit to Igbo Town in Oyo State. Uh, Yoruba Nation activist Sunday Ariyemo, popularly known as Sunday Igbo is an indigenous of Igbo Town, the headquarters of the Orelokbe local government area of Oyo State. In a viral video on Tuesday, the controversial Islamic cleric was cited in Igbo Wu town in the company of a former chief executive officer of the National Health Insurance Scheme, Professor Usman Yusuf. Uh, reacting after an emergency meeting, the security group described the pro uh, bandits Islamic cleric's visit as provocative. The security stakeholders made this known in a statement while raising the alarm that bandits were plotting to attack the region and security agencies must be on alert. They slammed Shei Gumi for embarking on a visit to Igbo town, saying the visit was an attempt to mock and undermine the efforts of the Yoruba activists and freedom fighters. They stated that the Islamic clerics' body language as well as statements in Igbo town truly showed that he was behind the DSS attack on Igbo Soka Um and that part of the Yoruba territories have been conquered. Gumi is a Nigerian. He has a right to visit any part of the country, but it shouldn't be to the extent of being deliberately, uh, deliberately attacking Igbo's ideology in his own town. Such an attempt is provocative and can lead to a crisis. That was why it elicited various reactions. Gumi's ideas are always at variance with the present reality in the country, and I think it is better for him to desist from fanning the embers of discord or war in the country, and the southwest is particularly, and uh, he should, you know, desist from either Igbo town. If he wants to come to southwest, he can, but not at the moment. Uh, the statement partly reads. The security stakeholders also want bandits and other bad elements to stay away from the southwest uh, region. They claim that uh, there are feelings that bandits have perfected their plans to strike in southwest. The statement added, on this note, the southwest security stakeholders coup, uh, group has considered it necessary to beef up the security operations in our region and we charge the police and all other security outfits across the region to remain vigilant in ensuring that the region is safe. Any attempt to invade the southwest will bring about both economic and political doom. SSSG is driven by the calls to ensure effective security across the Southwest. We are also keen on regionalism where each region will control the security architecture of their respective region. If Nigeria didn't return to or go back to regionalism based on the true federalism that we have in the past, there may be a crisis and nobody should blame those agitating for self-determination. But as a group, we will not relent in the struggle uh, to protect the Southwest and we are determined to partner with the police and other security agencies to combat crime and make the region safe for all and sundry. Yes, this is coming from Are Onokankan for uh, Ghani. Adams. Ghani Adams has berated uh, the visit of uh, Sheikh Gumi to the southwest has been, you know, uh, a plan has been a plan that the, the bandit, you know, wants to attack uh, the southwest. And as it is, if a rail of Kanka for Ghani Adams has, you know, said that Gumi is planning to invade or to attack uh, the southwest, it simply means Gumi is an advocate. Of bandits. According to Femi Adeshino, Femi Adeshino also said that Gumi is a lover of bandits. And everybody in Nigeria, even uh, uh, in the diaspora, knows 
Gumi as an advocator for bandit and a lover of bandit. Femadeshino did not mean his word by saying Gumi is a lover of bandit. Now it is, has been said by Ghani Adams by saying he needs to condemn Shei Gumi's visit and every other Yoruba uh, people, you know, agitating for Yoruba should condemn Gumi's visit because Gumi's visit is so very, very suspicious. Why on this note or why at this time should Gumi visit uh, Igbo Wolfham? What is Gumi's uh, mission, you know, to Igbo Wolfham? If it were to be other region or uh, let's say, okay, for instance, he came to the southwest but not Igbo Wolfham basically. Now, the uh, accusing finger is pointing at Gumi, that Gumi was the mastermind of Igbo Wolfham's uh, house invasion by the DSS. If not, what is Gumi looking for in Igbo Wolfham? Why Igbo Wolfham precisely? Well, according, according to Kenny, says, Ghani Adams is getting mad gradually. God punish an evil man. Okay, this person is accusing Ghani Adams, you know, being uh, getting mad. Okay, the supporter of uh, Ghani Adams says, Now you, God, go punish. Don't mind that thought. Why will you accuse uh, the Ghani Adams uh, being mad? Well, Isaken, you child of terrorists born by animal parents wanted to falsely live among civilized Yoruba nation. May your generation uh, perish. Mm, Ghani Adam is not Buhari now. Buhari is the international lunatic going for his psychiatric drugs in London from time to time. You can see his dress in a way looking like a madman even with all resources at his disposal. And above all, he couldn't even remember the name of the Austin uh, governor so many fault in nigeria if you see uh, buhari's dress buhari dress like the problem of nigeria oh i excite the trouser uh these people have started again here we were talking about Ghani adams and gumi they are referring to buhari well uh, buhari is a full animal even gumi also is a full animal so they are best of the same feather but what Ghani adam is saying in essence is that yoruba people and the security agents should be very very vigilant you know concerning gumi's visit gumi's visit to Igbo as as an eden agenda he came to survey the area in, and seize up the security arrangements along the region let it be known to Gumi that if bandits strike in any part of Southwest, it is his handiwork, but God pass them. Yes, so many people have been so suspicious about Gumi's visit. Well, I have said it that good for nothing man only came to survey the land for possible attack. You must have gone to report to his recruits. Hmm, this is the most toothless and useless uh, uh, Gumi have ever seen for loving bandit this man is a rare on a kanka for of yoruba land not nigeria if not careful he will be incarcerated okay this person is faulting Ghani adams that he should be careful the man is wearing a guada with plenty money he doesn't want to go to sell anymore adam is no longer a freedom fighter he's just talking and talking no action Hmm. Well, you told us there, there are well over 1,743 Fulani camps in Oduduwa land waiting to unleash, but what I've done but about them, okay? This person does not even know what he's writing. Hmm. You will tell us why you are uh, a rare on a can camp for. Please do your work and make sure the security of Yoruba, you know, does, doesn't fail. Was he welcomed by any of the indigents? Okay, this person is talking about uh, Gumi. He say if Gumi was welcomed by any indigents, who were they and who gave them the authority to do so? If anybody, he or they should be fished out and dealt with uh, appropriately and traditionally. Who knows whether he had been in town earlier than the time he was seen. Preparation should not uh, be, for, be far now alone but for 100 years of possible attack which is in, the, in their character. Where is our traditional ways of old or which religion preaches arm um, should be folded when enemies attack? Okay, according to this person, says uh, Yoruba shouldn't sleep, that they should go back to their traditional way so they can wear uh, their traditional attire, which is the juju, so to fight Gumi. Well, this is not just one person's work, and this is not uh, only Adam's, uh, Ghani Adam's uh, work. He has said it. That every Yoruba should be mindful of uh, Gumi's visit so that there won't be 
a uh, a Nairobian attack on the Yoruba race, especially in the Igbo fan. Well, I would like you to share your comments in the comment section if you really know that the attack may fall on Yoruba if uh, there is no security apparatus or better still to be mindful of Gumi's visit. Well, thank you for listening and don't forget to click on the bell icon so that you can get notifications and don't forget to share this news so that others can be aware.